What's going on? This video is going to be about old Alfonso Roberto. You remember him, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? So anyway, he said that being on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air ruined his career. In my actual... <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. Now, uh, some of us who are old enough remember when he was a Broadway actor who moonwalked into Michael Jackson, the Pepsi commercial. That was our first introduction to him. Then he got on Silver Spoon with old racist Ricky Schroeder. See how Ricky Schroeder turned out. Ricky Schroeder and the pillowcase man was trying to hook up Kyle Rittenhouse. We don't want to talk about Ricky Redneck Schroeder. Then we get to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Then we get to In the House. So he went working with rappers who associate with Quincy Jones. You ever notice how this pattern kind of goes? Quincy Jones worked with Michael Jackson. Quincy Jones worked with Will Smith. And Quincy Jones worked with Ariel Cool J in association with his daughter and all this stuff. You ever notice how this train kind of goes a certain way? How small the business really is. Then America's got fun videos, then dancing with the stuff. He does all the variety shows. He's a happy-go-lucky cat. What delusional did he think was going to happen to his career? Did he, was he supposed to have a Cuba Gooden Jr. kind of run or a Terrence, Tritt Har Ter Terrence Howard run? Did he think he was going to be Denzel Washington? Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace. Michael B. Jordan. No, what, what did Alphonse Roberto think was going to happen? I don't even think he wouldn't even had a, I, I mean, would he have even had a Nick Cannon film career? I mean, really? He cornballed generic, middle of the road, and also his height. And he wasn't going to get Tay Diggs love. So what, what What? did he think he was going to be? What kind of acting career did this turkey think he was going to have? Cracks me up when people are so delusional that they somehow think that the boat missed them, that they train right, that someone took their career. Who was taking his career? As a matter of fact, I mean, you had some talent, obviously, on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. But obviously, when you think about Will Smith's career, and all due respect to everybody else, James Avery was a good actor. Uh, Daphne Maxwell Reed, she's a good actress. And the original Mrs. Hoover, the original Will's aunt, and Joffrey, the, the, the butler. They, oh, Karen Parsons had a couple of things cute. Tatiana Ali, eh, middle of the road kind of thing. Nothing that you would see blown up. But what did Alphonse Roberto think? What, what, what did he envision? What? What? I want to know. I mean, let's be realistic. His height works against him. He ain't going to be like a hood brother in a movie. So, I mean, really, what did he expect? What did he expect? If this was back in the 70s, your behind would have probably have had a couple love boat reprise roles at most on the boat. I don't think Alfonso Roberto was any more talented than Ralph Carter, who played Michael on Good Times. I just don't. I think if you give both opportunities the same, I think Ralph Carter... Got him twice today and next week. So I found Roberto and got nothing to complain about. He got hooked up in ways that because he had crossover, but he was cornball. The Tom Jones white dance, that's what more people know him for. That's kind of like his kid dynamite and what you're talking about, Willis Cole. That's that's what he's known for. Kind of as a joke, as a goof, and that's kind of like how it is. No one's no one missed the boat on his acting skills and his chops. I love the delusion to make it sound like, well, if it wasn't if it wasn't for that, you wouldn't be where you are now. Because without that, I don't be living and strutting in Beverly Hills. You'll be in a nice condo, but you don't have two houses bought and paid for. That's the difference. And nothing wrong with that condo or apartment, but you don't have that luxury without that Fresh Prince of Bel-Air money and cha-ching coming in. The turkey need to kind of like rewind and reflip. Please like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shitter if you like. I'm out. Peace.